Another day of gruesome M U R D E R S teen bomb K I L L E D in Denham Town, New Jersey man found D E A D at Black Factory in Christiana Shudley. Stay tuned for the details. Every day is the same thing. You know, when we start this channel, Mr. am going to report any DEAD in there. But most of the news then we may read now and we may see, listen to. And what the information we may get from people too. It, it is all about the same DEAD. So, as me say, me reporting the news, so me have to report it. Now, a teenage mom. 17 year old live at Denham Town. She was S H O T and K I L L E D last night by her boyfriend. She go visit her boyfriend, and when she go visit her boyfriend, them have some kind of disagreement, and him just decide to take it to another level. Another domestic violence taken to another level. It is reported that Devonese Nelson, otherwise called Pinky, was a student in North Street of Kingston. And this happened she, when she visited the boyfriend, them hear this big old explosion around 11 p.m. So when them check and when them call the pow pow and when them go there, them find her with a G-U-N-S-H-O-T wound in her head. Now this 17 year old, have a four month old boy for the same man. And you tell me, say, when he might go on with him ranks, he not think about the picnic. The four month old picnic. Now the four month old picnic will be without a mother and a father. And look, look where they live. That means say things must hard and they must struggle. And if you leave a kid, Without nobody, you know, what is that child life going to be like? You know, they don't think about these things. People who not responsible, not supposed to have kids. And a 17 year old is not even an adult yet. She's not even 18 year old yet. And look what, at such a young age, I don't know if it's out of desperation, if it's out of suffering, why these young girls have to hook up and then they hook up and then get hurt. It is sad. Where are the parents? Where are the parents? Why all these things are happening to these young people? I am tired of reporting about young people. So now, the boy whose name is Eric Murdoch, otherwise called Brando, he's the father. And then one another person named Tevin Cross, them both of Water Street address. And right now, the police issue a warning and say they must turn themselves in before the end of the day. I may hope so then. Turn themselves in before the end of the day. Because man, this is wicked. So guys, if you have watched the video so far, I'm going to pause now and let you subscribe. So go ahead and subscribe now. Okay, so let's continue. Person left from America, you know, and go to Jamaica. Them have to be careful where them go and who and who to trust. Now the Manchester Popo have identified the man whose body was found at a black factory in Shodley. It is Shodley District, which is in Christiana, Christiana Shodley. His name Kenitia Harris, and he's a 50-year-old man from New Jersey. And he also come from St. James. So where him do a Christiana?
because that is nowhere close. But anyway, uh, maybe in the for business, you never know. Or him just good to have some fun. Because, I mean, him the on vacation. Yes. And what me understand him out there for long leave, like about three months. So in B.O.D.Y. was discovered around 5.30 on Saturday morning in the community, community Christiana community by residents. The Popo were um, called. They were alerted about that. So, them start an investigation and in no time they were able to bring two people in because he was staying with friends in Christiana and they were able to bring two people who them suspect say them have something to do with the K-I-L-L-I-N-G. So right now they are still in custody. Now, all we can tell foreigner, all we people who depend social media platform is to remind People who live in the United States say they must be careful of the friends them try to link up with a Jamaica. This is such a sad story. Jamaica has become the wild, wild west. But you know what the difference with Jamaica and the wild, wild west? The wild, wild west were movies. Now it is real in Jamaica and it is scary. When you hear people say they don't want to go to Jamaica, back at Jamaica, you know, you can understand. One time when me hear people say so, you know, me angry. Sometimes me feel angry and me see a way part them where people come from. That them don't want to go back to such a place like a Jamaica. Still, you know, me not make that stop me from go back to Jamaica, you know. But when me go there, it just make me more aware of all the things, especially since you see me reported. And the news here, it made me more aware of what is going on there. And for that reason, I'll be even more cautious because when me go there, I mean, even though me don't have become most of my family is here, but me always don't just let me guard down too much. Me cautious of where me go, me conscious of wherever me go. But when you, when you think that, him staying with two friends, people who is supposed to protect him. And what happened there so now? Him, 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 him gone. Him now not, not go get the chance to come back here. And he's a 50 year old man. So him not that old. And him, maybe because he's a black factory, who knows? Maybe he got a business and maybe him doing building work, building something and him end up at the black factory and him and they get into some argument and of course um he they it's like he was hit in the head so it looked like some argument developed and that happened but you don't know you you don't know who to trust that's the bad part of it you can be eating with your enemy you can be dining with your enemy and don't know. Anyway, guys, always remember to do the right thing. So, guys, thank you for watching my video. Please do remember to like the video, share the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Guys, I am trying to get to 1,000 subscription and only you can help me do so. So do so right now.